Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi everyone, in this video we are going to go through the 7 R or the 7 migration strategies. Probably if you have been reading about migration strategy then you know they are 6 R's. So we're going to see today what is this newly introduced migration strategy that we're going to talk about. In order for me to do or to decide on how I will migrate my application, there is a step before for me to do a deep discovery to understand what kind of applications do I have so I can go and take this decision application by application which migration strategy I am going to follow. So let's start with the first one. With the first one which is the retire. And from the name here, this is an application that is no longer required. So after my discovery, maybe I discovered an application and this application is no longer used, is no longer needed, but it consumes from my resources. So what do I need to do? I need to go and terminate this application or very simply powering off these virtual machines. And that's the first migration strategy. Now, for the second migration strategy, which is called Retain, this is for the kind of applications that I cannot retire. I still need this application, but maybe this application is a very legacy application. I don't have an equivalent to migrate it as is to the cloud. So right now, I'm going to retain it. And here we can give another a parameter to this one is retain slash revisit. You are going to see that maybe the first decision is to keep it on premise, but later on I can go and I can revisit to take another action for this kind of application. Now, the third type of migration strategy is what we call rehost. And another name of the rehost is what we call lift and shift. In the lift and shift, this is mainly how I migrate my application as is. So I have my applications, I have my virtual machines, but I would like to migrate them as is and I will translate it into AWS services. So for example, if I have my virtual machine, this goes into AWS EC2 instance. Maybe if I have my shared storage, this goes into AWS S3. And that's the concept of rehosting. Now, for the fourth type of migration, this is what we call a replatform. Another name of the replatform, it's called Lyft. Tinker and Shift. So here in this one, what I would like to do, I would like to offer a platform as a service. I would like to optimize when I'm migrating my application. I would like to add a kind of optimization. So for example, if I have my database virtual machine on premise, and I would like to migrate it using Re platform. So now I can leverage the RDS, which is the relational database service from AWS. Now, the fifth migration strategy is what we call refactor. Or maybe another name of refactor. This is called re-architect. And this is simply when I change the architecture of my application. So for example, maybe I have a monolith application that I would like to break it down into microservices. So what I will do, I'm going to refactor, I'm going to redesign, I'm going to recode my application. Now for the sixth migration strategy, and this is what we call repurchase. 
And another name of the repurchase is what we call drop and shop. So what's the example here? Let's say I have my CRM application and my CRM application, I am on premise. So I am running on virtual servers and I decided that I'm going to migrate my CRM. So if I migrate it to the cloud, but I am running maybe on EC2 instances. Now that's exactly rehost. So what is repurchase? Repurchase very simply, it means I don't want to handle any infrastructure. Whether this infrastructure is on premise or this infrastructure is on the cloud. So I would like to get it software as a service. So if we're talking about something like CRM, so maybe I will go for Salesforce. So I will get the CRM as a service from Salesforce. And now let me go back to the retain migration strategy. So if you remember, we mentioned retain slash revisit. Now, after I retained my application, now later on, I can revisit the application that I kept on premise. And now I can choose one of these two options. So either I can refactor this application, maybe breaking it into microservices and changing completely how the application was, or is designed, or maybe I can go for something completely different, which is I can simply go and repurchase, which is taking it software as a service. Now for the final migration strategy, which is called the relocate, this newly introduced migration strategy involves migration of the existing workloads without the change of any ongoing operation or without the change of any source code. So with the relocate, I can even call it sometimes, this is a hypervisor lift and shift. Which simply means I am moving my workloads, but I keep the same operations. And here we can introduce two examples. The first example is VMware Cloud on AWS where you migrate your VMware virtual machines into ESX servers on the cloud, keeping the same ongoing operations, running them and managing them from vCenter. And the second option, if you have EKS, Elastic Kubernetes Service, and where you have your containers on premise and you are migrating your containers to the cloud. And that's the final one or the newly introduced migration strategy. So again, to finalize, this is to explain the seven R's or the seven migration strategies. Retire means this application is no longer needed. So I can simply power off and terminate this application. Retain means I cannot retire this application. So for now, I'm going to keep it on premise because later on I can revisit. And this is where I can either refactor or I can repurchase. Rehost means lift and shift. I am migrating as is, but translating this into AWS services. Replatform, this is lift, tinker and shift. I am migrating my application, but I'm introducing some optimizations. So for example, in this case, I'm introducing the fully managed database offering from AWS, which is the RDS. For the case of the refactor or the case of the re-architect, this means I am completely changing the architecture of my application. So maybe going for microservices or maybe going for cloud native applications where I leverage the cloud benefits by going completely serverless. Repurchase means drop and shop, which means I no longer want to handle any infrastructure so I can rely on software as a service. And the finally introduced one, which is the relocate. This is the hypervisor lift and shift, which means I keep my ongoing operations. I don't change the source code that I have here. And now to finalize, let me finish with a question. 
based on what we explained here if i have my application if i have my infrastructure running on one of the aws regions and now i am migrating from one region to another region based on what we explained what is this migration strategy please leave us your answers in the comments i'm also going to put the aws documentation about the seven r's that you have here for any further reading thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give us a thumbs up if you have any comments if you would like to even suggest some content we can put on the channel please give us all the comments in the comment section and finally if you don't want to miss any of the videos do not forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching